There are three main companies that produce Disney Cars diecasts. Of course, the front runner being Mattel, followed by the Disney Store, and the lesser known one being Tomica. Now, Tomica isn't too popular or well known here in North America and Europe because it's mainly an Asian brand. It's only sold in Japan, China, and surrounding nations, which is extremely disappointing because as you can see, and as we'll go through today, they have produced a ton of amazing amazing and unique cars that no other brand has ever done. We got a Thomasville Tribute, the King, Dynaco Cruise, some Flame and Lightning McQueen here, and a ton of other cars that we're going to review and unbox today. I'm very excited, guys, so welcome back to the Tomica haul. I've been playing this video for a long, long time, and I just kept accumulating more and more cars, and I thought now was a good time to finally bite the bullet because I won't begin anymore for at least a few more weeks just because Japan closed shipping for non-essentials, and they're taking a long time to reopen. And I have a couple things. I also have, you know, even more Tomica stuff on the way, like a silver fabulous Hudson Hornet, which I'm so excited for. But we have, well, we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 11 cars to unbox today. So excited, guys. So without any more rambling, we're going to get right into it. Now, my favorite is this, the king here. But as they say, it never starts. Save the best for last. So we're going to start with my least favorite, at least well, I can perceive right now in this very moment because, you know, they're all in their boxes. I did unbox this Fillmore one time on a live stream, though, about a year ago. But, yeah, guys, if you're not sold on Tomica, if you don't like them, if you're wary about them, I'm going to convince you by the end of the video. And we're going to make a petition that Tomica should be sold in the United States. I'm not even kidding. I might even do it because sometimes they've had them, but never Disney cars. Like they make other stuff instead of, you know, just Disney cars. And that has been sold kind of, you know, here and there in the United States, but never the Disney stuff. So maybe one day we will see this amazing brand here in the US and Europe. So without any more and more rambling. We're going to unbox here this Thomasville Tribute Danny Swerbez. Now this may look very, very similar to you because Mattel did one just like this with Herb Kerbler, basing it off of Jet Robinson paint job. So that's why they look so similar, but because they are you know different characters, I decided to pick him up. So yeah, I mainly only buy the Tomika stuff that nobody else has done, which you know there's quite a bit of that. I don't have them all, but I do have most of the recent ones. So like, you know, I got Jonas Carver's when he came out because he came out a solid year plus before Mattel did theirs. And of course, Jim Reverick, who still hasn't come out from Mattel. So here we go. You can see this is Mr. Danny Sorbez. He's got his name there. Number 19. I love how the 19's like flying through the air and that's why you get the motion blur there thomasville speedway make way so that's a little sponsor there he's got this like i don't know target there and there i don't know what those are because they're not headlights i don't believe or maybe they're meant to look like the old headlights i have no idea there are the rims tomica cars dang sorbets made in vietnam got 19 back here nothing on the spoiler and on the back, you have Southern Gold High Test Gasoline. So that was Jet Robinson's main sponsor. And naturally, it is now what Danny Swervez is trying to emulate. So here he is in comparison to the Mattel Herb Kerbler. So they have different expressions, but you know, very, very similar in graphics. So you have pretty much all the same decals. This one says Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and it's got High Test Gasoline back here. Whereas, you know, it's a little bit different. The coloring's obviously a little different as well. But overall, very similar. You have nothing on the spoiler for Danny. Rookie stripes on her, but none for Danny. Cool, cool, cool. I like that they're different, though. It makes me think, you know, that I have two different racers rather than them being you know quite similar which they are but you know what i mean now we're going to briefly take a look at whatever this thing is here i don't think it's anything special but we'll take a look uh just a little flyer with their website nothing of note all right so that's tomica 
Thomasville Tribute. Wow, that's a lot of T's. Danny Suarez. Okay, we're going to move on now to this Fillmore that is pretty much all the way open because his box is so busted. But it's a Rusty's Wrap Fillmore. So they did a couple of them like this, and you'll see the rest of them here in a moment. And they're very, very nicely done. The decals are so crisp. Like, look at how metallic red that is. It looks so good. They go so well with Rusty's Racing Center McQueen. Now, Tomica's scale is 164, which is the same scale as Hot Wheels. And just, you know, for comparison, Mattel is 155, and the Disney Store is 143. So, in comparison to a Mattel Fillmore here, he really isn't that much smaller. But, to be completely honest with you, Fillmore is a little bit small for Mattel. They should have him as a little bigger. I just love the red on this guy. It looks so good. You have 95 Rusties there. Just soak it in, guys. Appreciate. Appreciate it. He's got the 51237 license plate. He's got this, you know, hanging muffler, which he's always had. They make it silver, though, instead of black. And I don't know, it just looks a little lumpy there. I don't really like that. All right, all right, all right. Moving right along to Mather in the same series, which it's not really a series, but the same design they released at the same time. Now you'll notice that Mather here is much smaller than a normal Mather from Mattel. Look at that. Nearly twice the size. That's ridiculous. Whereas Fillmore were nearly the exact same size. But yeah, the expressions are kind of similar, actually. You know, he's got his happy-go-lucky Facial expression there. He's got the Rusty's logo on the hood. Side view mirrors are painted red. He's got even the bolt up here. Still got the brown base and rims and all that. His towing cables are painted red. My favorite part is that they snuck a Rusty's logo, you know, in the bed there of him, which just is amazing. Like, come on. They put that on the plastic there underneath everything. That must have been so difficult. You know, just relative. I mean, it's not that difficult, but relative to everything else, it's got to be pretty hard to do that. So I appreciate that from Tomika. And they even put it there on the bumper along with 95. Just a phenomenal job here. Even got a little kind of... Oh, yeah. See, these are double tires and they're separate. Usually, they would be together. Like, you could see that those are double there, but they're together they're molded together these ones are separate so that's a little interesting gives him a nice little suspension feel you can see that they all kind of have that oops just kind of clang them together but yeah they all kind of have a little bit of suspension which is really nice all right we got two more of these we got luigi here i wonder which one my favorite will be i think right now it's got to be I don't know. It's really hard for me to say because I love Fillmore and how clean he is. So much room for decals, but Mather and that logo there on the bed, just can't go wrong with that. Maybe Luigi's going to come take the throne. He looks awesome too. I love how they changed his rims. That looks phenomenal. Wow. Dang, he really does look great. And you know what? Shock Rooney, he is actually bigger than Mattel's Luigi. Oh my gosh, what is going on? The scales are so wacky. Look at that. <laughs> That's not right. Mather is nearly smaller than Luigi in terms of height and thickness. Oh my gosh. That is wild. But taking it for what it is, Luigi looks pretty good here. Ninety-five on the back. Look how clear his license plate is. Fillmore's you know, the text above it was a little blurry. I mean, it's like nearly not even there. But on this one, you can clearly read Carburetor County above and below. And then you got 44.5-10.8, which are the coordinates for a manufacturer or a Ferrari manufacturing plant in Moderna, Moderna, Italy, I think. I do believe so. All right, guys. And last but not least is a Mr. Guido in a very small box here. Yeah, all the boxes are uh, mostly different sizes depending on the car. And 
And now Guido is massive. Like, there's no denying that Guido is way too big. And it's just weird that they do that. I don't understand it at all. They look good together. I mean, I don't know. Guido probably is even too big for Luigi here. And his, yeah, I don't like Guido. It's, sorry, guys. I'm not a fan here of Guido. He does not look that good just because of the size and the eyes. Yeah. It's just too long, and the eyes just don't work when it's like that. It's so disproportionate. Yikes. But the paint job still looks good. And they changed the color of the rims as well. That's awesome. All right, all right, all right. Moving right along to red here. So this is kind of like a pinstriping series. I guess they call it Ramon's Body Art Shop. Which really should be Ramon's House of Body Art. But you know how it goes with companies. <laughs> Mattel's not the only one that makes mistakes. So yeah, red is super small. Oh yeah. He looks pretty sweet though. Probably not my favorite. I'm not a big fan of the expression. So this is the original red from Mattel back in 2006. That was really small. And then 2011 for Cars 2. They made him bigger and more accurate. And as you can see, he's nearly twice the size of this Tomica one. He's got a gold ladder. Gold around these poles there. He's got a little border, like some kind of pinstriping here and there, which he didn't have before, as you can see. And then white wall tires with the red rims still. Wish I had more Tomika cars to compare to, but I really don't have many at all. I only have some next gens and Leroy Hemming. And some planes. I have like Rochelle because she looks different from Japan. Like Sakura Rochelle. If you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> 002, Carburetor County. Love it. I love just the extra flair there, you know, around Radiator Springs and Radiator Springs Fire Department. It looks really cool. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of the expression though. And his eyes, yeah. No bueno. All right, who we got left? We're going to go with Mr. Mater here. Ramon's House of Body Art or Ramon's Body Art Shop. Just doesn't flow off the tongue as nice as Ramon's House of Body Art. So yeah, here we go. I think I might have unboxed this guy on the live stream as well. So yeah, not a huge fan of the expression again. I think this one looks better here. But now we do have two Maters to compare to. This one here is basically brand new Mater with some blue flames in the back. So here's the Mattel version. He also has white wall slash rimmed tires there. The blue is really nice though. It starts off purple, kind of fades into a lighter blue, which looks really nice. A113. Not my favorite here. I'm saving the best for last, but he does still look really cool. And just for laughs and giggles, I wanted to compare him to Tokyo Mater, just because I feel like they kind of have a similar vibe going, being like racers. I mean, flames make me think of racing. And of course, they are the same color. All right. This is getting messy. All right, we got Sheriff next. I think I might have unboxed this one too. They're so easy to unbox and just put back. Oh, no way. Oh, this has got to be one of my favorites here. First of all, the expression is perfect. I have no quibble about that. But if you look here on the box, I mean, he looks pretty normal, like just, you know, the normal black paint job. But they actually kind of gave him a metallic glazed finish. So he looks like he's snowy or he's, I don't know, sandy, but it really looks phenomenal. It's basically metallic black here. And with the white pinstriping and the gold rims, oh my gosh, this is one of my all-time favorite Tomica releases. Dang, he looks like out of a video game paint job. That's so cool. He also has some extra decals up there. Just for comparison, here is the Mattel Sheriff. So quite a bit smaller. But yeah, man, he looks great. 
Got a siren up here. He's got these plastic headlights. No antennas though, but that's okay. Those are hard to do. Wow. I have to hand it to him with this. The paint is just what makes it. And then the white paint striping is just, you know, the cherry on the top. Love it. All right, let's see if Lightning McQueen from the same series can hold up to that standard. I don't know. I'm with packaging here. He looks pretty regular in terms of the red paint. And he's just got decals. It looks like, though, they made him more metallic than they let on. Yeah, he's definitely more metallic than he looks on the packaging there. So that's awesome. His expression is also really nice. So there isn't a clear cut McQueen that this was based on. So I just brought out Radiator Springs McQueen. Because I feel like that, yeah, circular 95 logo is only really on the Radiator Springs McQueen. I like how they incorporated that and work the frames around it. Looks really nice, really classy. He's got the white wall tires there with the red metallic rims, silver base, Lightning McQueen signature there on the roof edges. Dang, he looks good. I don't know if he beats Sheriff though. Sheriff came as a surprise to me. I didn't think he'd look as good as he does. All right, so that's it for Ramon's House of Body Art. Now we got the Thomasville Tribute Cruz Ramirez, who I'm really looking forward to. I'm kind of surprised Mattel didn't make one because it would be pretty easy to do considering she's a main character. Wow. Okay, yeah, she's awesome. She obviously is meant to look like Louise Nash. That's who she's portraying, which is interesting to think about because nobody else portrayed one of the legends like River Scott or Junior Moon or even like Smokey. I don't know if anyone would, would do that because he's not a racer, but yeah, all the other ones just kind of portrayed no names like Randy Lawson or who was it? You know, Floyd Morgan, Buford Camshaft, all those guys and like Slim Hood and whatnot. But Cruz Ramirez went straight to the top of the ladder and chose Louise Nash. And it makes sense. I mean, they developed a connection in the movie. So I really do wish Mattel made a version like this. I'm not a huge fan of Cruz Ramirez, but this is definitely one of my favorite versions of her. I mean, her expression looks good. She's got the old Dynaco gasoline logo there on the hood. Dynaco in that faded salmon or color. I don't know how to describe it. Beige. 51 for Doc still though. Thomasville. I mean, the amount of tributes in here is remarkable. You have 51 for Doc. Paint job for Louise. Dynaco. Wow. I love the font here that you have on the spoiler too. Kind of retro. White wall tires. 51. Oh, that's awesome. That's lovely. Way smaller though. Oh, will the king be able to beat this though? I've been looking forward to seeing this guy out of the box for a year now. Will he be able to top Cruz and Sheriff, because those are my top two right now. Let's see. Dang. He does look pretty good. So now the king here is portraying Floyd Morgan. That was weird. The lights just flickered. It's not like there's a storm going on or anything. Sorry about that, guys. Let's take a closer look here. So he's got a weird expression. His mouth's kind of long. His eyes are okay. Thomasville, Thomasville, 43. I like the silver line going down the hood. Here's the regular, the king. He's got nice kind of turquoise or light turquoise teal rims, strip weathers. Ooh, I don't like that though. You have strip weather sock of the king. So obviously that S is supposed to be attached to weathers and not AKA because now it reads strip weather sock of the king. That's so weird. Oh my God, Saka the King. Jen's Diner though is the sponsor. So yeah, here you can see Parker Brakeston, who is also trying to honor Floyd Morgan. Now Floyd Morgan was planned as a release from Mattel, but he's either been delayed or canceled. I'm not gonna talk about that depressing subject along with you know some of the tractors and whatnot. But these two should be pretty similar in decals. 
We got Thorson Trucking Company, Dynaco Gasoline. So that's nice that that's there. You can see here on Parker, he has that Thorson Trucking, but he's got motor oil and he's got Southern Gold Gasoline there. Whereas the King has Dynaco and yeah, he's got Southern Gold just in a different spot. 43, 43, plastic spoiler, silver bumper, Dynaco. And he's got a license plate, no way. Reads like North Coyalina, JO3-20K. So somebody's initials and then March 20th for their birthday. I don't know who that could be though. Hmm. I'll have to look into that, but they have a lot of license plates like that, even on the Mattel versions. I don't understand, what are those? What in the world are these? I've never seen these before. I wonder if these are on the regular The King from Tomika. You guys have any ideas what the purpose or what even are these? Please let me know in the comment section below. Hmm. Still rolls and all that. But yeah, comparing these two, you can see the color green's a little different and decals. Parker is no mention of Dynaco. I love how Tommy cause like, all right, well like, let's say Pixar and Disney is like presenting some options to the companies and they're like, okay, we got this Parker breaks in model here. You know, maybe you could use like Brick Yardley cause Mattel is using Parker breaks in. You know, you guys took Danny Suarez and they took Herb Kerbler. So it makes sense if you guys use like Brick Yardley or I don't know, Brian Spark, whoever. And they're like, Najee, we want the king. And they're like, okay, okay. And Mattel is just stuck with this lame Parker breaks in. I'm not saying Parker is bad, but I mean the king. Come on, it's the king. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I have to say, though, the king did not live up to the hype. Sheriff surprised me. And Cruz is pretty dope as well. So these are my top three, top four. Let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite. And if you are sold on Tomica, would you like to see them sold here in the United States? Please let me know in the comments section below. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing and I will see you soon for another video. Bye now.